Today on Corporate Review, join us as we explore innovative technologies, cutting edge solutions, and timely discussions from leaders across the globe. This is Corporate Review. Welcome to Corporate Review, I'm Jackie Bales. Within the world of packaging, constant changes, higher volumes, and increasing complexity are all high on the list of challenges. Add to that list, flexibility in automation. Here today to discuss how their company, Premier Tech Systems, is addressing all of these issues through robotic palletizing. We have Vice President of Marketing and Client Services, Simon Roy, and Sales Director, Tim Dolan. Welcome to you both. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Simon, first of all, why is flexibility often more important to companies these days than speed? Flexibility has been, uh, has been for the last 15 years a topic that comes back with our customers because uh, at their end they need to improve the look of their products on the shelves. They need to, uh, to be creative and they create multiple packages uh, while 15, 20 years ago only uh, a few SKUs were available. Now we're talking sometimes 50 to 100 different types of products which creates uh, the need for flexibility at the end when you're palletizing those products. Mm. Tim, explain how your solutions address this need for flexibility. Uh, Jackie, I think the, the best way to answer that is innovation. Premier Tech's history is one of a, a company of um, innovation. Innovation drives the company, drives our product development, and really that addresses our ability to be flexible or provide a flexible solution with our customers. Well, in this corporate review field report, we get an open house tour of Premier Tech Systems and their robotic palletizing solutions. As the packaging world continues to change daily and the number of stock keeping units are drastically increasing, one of the main automation challenges is flexibility. Premier Tech Kronos is a leader in robotic case packing and palletizing in North America. Their robotic solutions continue to improve every year with increased speeds and smartness, which solves the need for product handling flexibility. Our customers won't be able to take advantage of the latest technology, but at the same time they want to make the machines easy to operate. They need to be simple to work on and simple to have perform their function. The equipment needs to be very easy and quick during product changeover, and usually our customers want those features to be automated. Our engineers work to create designs that are very simple, but at the same time take advantage of things like advanced motor controls, powerful processors, cutting edge safety features, and especially intuitive touchscreen controls. The latest Von Gaal touchscreen control offers a lot of extensive graphics and diagnostic messaging, which really makes it easy for, a, for an operator. Simon, what would you say are the latest key trends in palletizing? In palletizing, uh, the, for sure, uh, as I talked earlier, flexibility is the most important trend that we've seen in the last 15 years. Um, the, another key trend to solve this, uh, this challenge, I, I will call it a challenge, uh, is uh, the need for robotics. Robotics has arrived uh, 20 years maybe, but was mostly used in the industrial world, so in, in welding. And, but in the, in the recent years, it's been used in our industry to palletize products, which is a big difference than before, as we're, we're, the, the robotics is able to handle up to seven products at the same time, mm. as while before it was only, only one product at a time. So that's a big, big advantage uh, for robotics. Interesting. So Tim, when should companies use the robotic palletizing versus conventional palletizing? That's a question, Jackie, that we get asked every day by our customers or our potential customers. Mm -hmm. And the answer from our perspective is pretty easy because we offer both um, in the marketplace. Uh, we can provide an unbiased technical answer. And really the objective is to provide the customer with the best recommendation that suits them, whether it's robotic or conventional palletizing. Mm -hmm. Are the operator skill requirements the same for both technologies, Simon? The skills have evolved a little bit on the operator side, but, but mostly it has evolved on the maintenance side. Uh, robotics offer um, probably a real, more reliable uh, solution 
as opposed to more mechanical movements on the on the conventional uh, palletizing. But but both, uh, when when uh, uh, integrated uh, uh, well, are, are doing a fine job. Hmm. Tim, what kind of speeds are conventional case palletizers able to reach? On the conventional side, you'll see some uh, typically rates ranging between 30, 40, uh, 60 cases a minute. Uh, uh, but uh, at the high end, when you get into some of the applications in the brewery or the bottling industry, you'll see rates up around 180 a minute. So very, very high speed uh, production lines. That is amazing. Now, Simon, what are the most common applications in high-speed case palletizing? I know Tim just mentioned yeah, yeah, a few. In, exactly, and it's mostly, what, what Tim has mentioned, mostly they are in the beverage industry. So we're, we're talking about soft drink, uh, water, bottled water, uh, the beer industry. That's where you will have a need for long production runs that will have always the same product to palletize, meaning that the same dimensions of a box to go fast, and, and we're talking uh, hundreds of thousands of units per day to be palletized, so you need that, that system to be continuously uh, working. Wow. Simon, what are the latest improvements in robotic palletizing? The, uh, we were talking about uh, flexibility earlier, and flexibility uh, is coming with uh, uh, one component of uh, robotic palletizing, and it is the vision. A robot is able now with the technology able to see a product, see the shapes, uh, differentiate the, the, the colors, actually the shades of colors, so you're able to pick a product from a conveyor and see exactly what orientation it is uh, uh, right now so you can place it correctly on the pallet. Mm. Um, Fennec Robotics, our partner, uh, major partner since the beginning, has worked tremendously, has done a fantastic job in integrating uh, their own uh, vision technology. So we're, we've made some major, major improvements in that regards, and that makes uh, the technology even uh, even more uh, attractive. That and is I, interesting. Actually, um, I would say probably more than 50% of our projects or our systems that we deliver now are vision integrated uh, with all of our robotic systems. Premier Tech is an innovative solutions provider who listens to the exact needs of their clients and develops solutions that will best suit their production needs. Their robotic palletizing solutions provide the highest level of flexibility to customers all across North America. Like every other company that's looking at automation, we want to increase productivity, uh, reduce labor, and have some type of payback, a reasonable payback of three or four years. Uh, in our case, we were happy that uh, we increased productivity more than what we expected. Uh, we definitely reduced labor, and as a result, by doing so, our payback is even quicker than anticipated. This is a complex piece of equipment and a layout for our needs. Um, we, Premier Tech did an incredible job. Any big project always has some glitches, normal startup costs, uh, things that you don't expect. The one thing that's critical for us is to, to have chosen the right integrator. We know that the folks at Premier Tech are here from day one. They are here six months after this robot has been installed, and we know they're gonna be here six, 10 years down the road. This robot will be lasting for many years and the folks at Premier Tech will be there all the time. So definitely there was no bad decision on that front. So Tim, what are some of Premier Tech's most recent accomplishments? Well, coming to mind, I can think of uh, this past year um, in our partnership with Fanuc Robotics, uh, we won the Centennial Award, which means that in North America or in the Americas, uh, we are Fanuc Robotics' largest packaging integrator. And uh, to date, uh, we're proud to say that we have almost 500 robotic systems in, implemented into the marketplace. Tim, how is Premier Tech Systems poised to create flexible change within this portion of the industry? I would say, again, going back to the innovation uh, aspect of our culture, uh, Premier Tech's a very innovative company. It's part of our DNA. It's embedded in our engineering organization. It's embedded in our sales organization. We're always looking for a new solution uh, for a customer. And we want to be able to bring flexibility in not just the solution, but how we work with a customer in the marketplace. Mm. My last question, Simon, is for you, and that is, where do you see this industry going in the future? And how are you planning on meeting these future needs? To add on Tim's uh, response, um, innovation is part of our culture. It is actually one of our five values. Um, this, is, this is how we got there uh, today. There's 200 teammates that, that specifically think of five years down the road, 
what will be the technologies to use uh, on a daily basis. So are we going to be ready to, uh, to answer your question, Jackie? We will certainly be there. Hmm. Well, it certainly seems that Premier Tech has the time-saving and cost-saving solutions that high-volume companies really need. So thanks for joining us today and explaining it. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you. And thank you for watching. For Corporate Review, I'm Jackie Bales.